tonight I'm going to tell you about my family's tradition of making homemade bread. In my opinion, it's the best bread in the world. My great-great-grandma Lavender started this delicious bread recipe, which takes about eight hours to make just six loaves. My great-grandma Lavender passed it on to my great-grandma Grim, then, then my Aunt Marsha, then my Grandma Ann, then me. A few weeks ago, me and my Grandma Ann spent a Saturday, Saturday together so she could teach me how to make this family bread. First, she lost the recipe, so we had to call my Aunt Lindsay to make sure we didn't forget any steps. Then we needed to gather all the needed ingredients, and Grandma told me how yeast works. Next, we needed to knead the bread, pushing and pulling and pushing and pulling, which was super hard and took a lot of muscle. <laughs> Next, we needed the bread to rise, which takes so long. My Grandma Ann told me a story about the time when she left the bread to rise and forgot about it. And when she got home, the bread had, got, the bread had gone over the bowl, bowl, off the counter, and onto the floor. Plop. Next, the next step was panning the bread. It was so stressful and hard because you wanted it to be perfect. Or at least I did. Grandma Ann showed me how to pan a few loaves, and I did the rest myself. Once all the bread pans were full, we put them next to the warm oven to let them rise again. And we only could put four lo we only could put four loaves at a time in the oven. And as soon as we brought them out of the oven, they smelled delicious. It was a fun day spent with my grandma Ann, learning about this family tradition. I brought five of my loaves to share with you tonight. Hope you enjoy. Bye.